Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to our science class. Today in science, we will do chapter number fourteen, light and formation of shadows. Okay. Now, can you tell? You know. Now, objects or materials which emit light, meaning those which themselves themselves are a source of light, are called luminous objects are materials the intensity of light is determined by the extent to which the objects emit light for example the light emit, emitted by an electric torch is more intense than that of obtained from a candle the objects or materials that are not sources of light themselves are called non luminous objects or materials some man made objects are materials also uh, emit light these are called artificial source of light the sun is the main natural source of light other stars seen in uh, in, in the in night in the night sky, uh, fire lies some 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 anger uh, angler fish as well as honey mushroom are natural sources of light. Okay. And uh, the pro propagation of light. You may have seen in the afternoon rays of light entering through a slit in a door or a small hole in the roof. As these rays of light from the slit or the hole move towards the floor, the dust particles in their way are seen clearly. Due to these particles, the path of the light becomes visible and we can see that their path is along straight lines okay let's try this take three cardboards make a small hole in the center of each cardboard using a thick needle arrange the cardboards cardboards in uh, in such way in such way that the three e holes are in the same lines as and look at the flame of the candle from the other side other side um you see take a straight table a straight tube that can be bent easily as shown in the figure place a burning candle on a stand and look at it through the tube then bend the tube and look at the candle again what do you see okay. this light travels in a straight line the it, uh, this is called the linear proportion of light. What is called linear proportion of light? Light, light travels in a straight line. This is called linear proportion. Means light, light travels in a straight line. Light has a straight line. This is the light and it is going in a straight line. It is called linear progression of light. And some lights is going this this like this that is called non-linear propagation of light okay. reflection light <clears throat> how do we see an object the rays of light falling on an object from a source of light are thrown are thrown back from the surface of that object this is called reflection of light. We see the object when the reflected rays reach our eyes. 
do you know? In the textbook, you must learn, you must remember these two things. Do you know and uh, always remember these two things you have to remember always. Stars are luminous, planets, satellites are non-luminous light reflected from the surface of the moon, moon reaches us. That is how we can see the moon. We call this light moonlight. This light moonlight. Uh, in which step in the flame of the candle see clearly why can you tell can you tell no, 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 can you tell? No, okay. uh, images in a plain mirror first one uh, sorry stand in, for, in front of a plain mirror and look at your image in it first one raise your hand right hand which hand of the mirror image is raised what change do you see in the image if you decrease or increase your distance from the mirror is there any difference between your height and height of the mirror image now after reading in front we i, I have to tell one message for you uh, from uh, I have made uh, science textbook videos by in between some videos I have not said like chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3 so after uh, finishing this textbook up to here then up to here then I will make that video so now read it sorry I am telling you between between videos the left and right sides of the original object appear to be exchanged in the mirror, mirror image. The image is as far behind the mirror as the object is in front of it. The size of the image in the say is the same as that of the object. You read this. How you, will you light up a dark room? dark room using reflection try to start the tv by appearing operate operating the remote control from behind it pinhole camera now we will read pinhole camera Take an empty cylindrical box, remove cap on one side and paste a thin white capper in its place. Make a small hole at the center of the other cap. Light a candle, light a candle and hold the box in such a way that such a way that the flame of the candle is is in front of the hole now you will see now you will see an upside down or in inverted image of the flame on the thin paper at the other end Uh, what if uh, sorry this is also tell uh, can you tell? the material the material the material through which light pa passes is said to be transport light does not pass is said to opaque passes a part uh, partially is said to be transparent let's try this take an electric torch flash its light on a wall now make your friend stand in between the torch and the well wall what's happened uh you take a torch torch and uh, uh suppose this is the, your friend and this is the wall okay 
and you on the torch the reflected the reflection you will see on the wall okay like here uh if an opaque a peculiar object comes in the way of a light source light like like does not pass through it as a result the light does not reach a wall or or any other surface on the other side of the object the part remains dark the dark part is called the shadow of the object and now everybody this was the first part of the video i'll make the second part uh, okay i'll make the second part earlier earlier okay second this was the part 1